Hey guys, and welcome back to Creative Packaging. This is Mochi the Bunny. You guys have been asking me uh, to show her to you guys. She's currently shitting, and that is why there's butt fluffs. So, right now I'm reorganizing a lot of things, which is why there's stuff in her territory. This is her cage that she sleeps in or spends time when we're not home to supervise her, but most of the time she's in her little bunny room, which is this area. So I put some buckets here because um, I'm reorganizing the fish room again and plus it gives her um, something interesting to explore because there's new things here. This is Banana's food. Little foot is right there. We still have some leftover carpet and we need to uh, put it on the stairs because what we're going to do. But the funny thing is Mochi likes to destroy the carpet. As you can see there's like a thread she pulled out. So to keep it safe, I have it like this. This is the anti-Mochi the Bunny safety procedure. This is where the kitties have water and food. Oh, hello little foot. You gonna say hi to everyone? This is about Bunny. It's not about you. And these are all my plants. Uh, I have quite a bit of plants. I try to keep them out of reach of the cats. But the kitties tend to not really bother them much what this is not about you this is supposed to be about bunny yeah do i need to pet you okay i need to give you love are you good can i go over and film mochi now yeah what else are you gonna tell me you're so cute yeah what else you can tell everyone? Are oh, you gonna purr? You're so cute. You're sabotaging my video with your cuteness. Oh yeah, you gonna say hi to everyone? Littlefoot says, please pet me. I love getting petted. So anyways, besides my buckets, this is Mochi's basic little house. Nothing too interesting in here because um, we rotate through toys as she destroys them, which is, you know, what bunnies do. Let me sit down and get comfy. Okay. So right now she has one toy right here and another one hanging. This is her litter box in the corner. She actually seems to really like this litter box because she used to tend to fling all her poops out of her previous litter box. So this way she can't really dig. And even though she has this entire place to exercise by the way I'm totally wearing thank you for that comment little foot I'm wearing um we need the poop PJs because that is how you do fish room work so even though Mochi the bunny has the entire room she actually spends mo oh, I'm getting bumped by the cat she spends most of her day in her cage by choice she just goes in and she's like just likes to lay in there I remember I made an older video where um, I told you guys that she's usually out here for about uh, six to seven hours, give or take. At the very least, if we're going to be gone all day or traveling or something, she'll be out for an hour at the very least. But we try to give her the entire day if possible. There's been times where she's been out here for 12 hours. And whenever I mentioned that she was out for a smaller period of time, some people would get upset. And you know, say that this is too small for her in this cage, but as you can see, she likes it. She makes a choice on her own to go in there. It's her, it's her safe space. I mean, it's not an ideal cage. I, I would get a bigger one, but because she does get the freedom to come out here and play, it makes it okay. Now, if she was supposed to spend her entire life in this cage, I wouldn't recommend little foot. You're such an attention, attention, but. But I wouldn't recommend keeping a bunny in a small cage if they're going to spend majority of their day every day inside a little cage. If it's just a small area, by the way, ignore the mess over there because we're redoing, well I'm redoing, the entire fish room again because I'm expanding. But uh, yeah, if, if that's, you know, what you can afford and the room that you have for that kind of size cage but you can provide a larger area that's bunny proof, that's totally fine. If you can't, then yeah, I would recommend uh, getting a bigger cage. Ideally, if I move in the future, I would love to build her a larger cage. 
Let me show you how cute she is. Zoom in. Zoom in on the bunny cuteness. Look at that little nose wizzle. So in the future, I'd love to get her a bigger cage, but for now, she doesn't seem to mind a whole lot. Let me change positions over here. Doo -doo -doo. Scooching over. There we go. This is going to be a lot easier to film. She made a mess in her cage already. But yeah, that, that's pretty much Mochi the Adorable Bunny. She is a dwarf lion head mix of some sorts. Uh, we got her from the pet store. Uh, I tend to not really like getting p animals from the pet store. I would prefer to adopt or go to a breeder, but in this case, it was one of those, I saw her at the store and it was one of those almost impulsive buys. Um, I was looking to get another small pet because some time have, has passed after my dribbles passed away and I was thinking about a variety of different animals and I've never had a bunny before. And I've, I pet-sitted the priest bunny, uh, Heniel. There's videos of him uh, on my channel so you can find them kind of older videos. But I pet-sitted him and he was really nice. Oh, hello. So I thought, you know, you know, I'll give a bunny a try. And she's kind of nice to a certain extent. She's not very well socialized, I'll show you. I don't want to startle her muchy. Hey, because she's not paying attention right now. And then she turns around and she's gonna be like, what is that? Hi. Can I pet you? Sometimes she'll be really mean. Sometimes she lets me pet her. She's like, no. I don't know, I can kind of tell when she's she's acting um, reluctant to come towards me that I know that if I try to pet her, she's going to get mad. So, I got to kind of figure it out. But I wish she was more social, but she's not. And um, for those of you that are new, uh, I do have some other videos of Mochi the Bunny, including videos of her when she was a little baby. Oh, she hears my cats. She's like, what's going on? hear sounds but I have really cute videos of her as a little baby bunny as well as um, what's it called uh, I have a potty training video for rabbits and I also have videos of her doing an unboxing of um, a bunny box and she talks it's true she is indeed a talking bunny so, let's see, what else can I sh show you guys? I was really hoping that she would come out and play, and earlier she came out for a little bit, but this whole morning while I've been working on the fish room, she's just been hanging out in her cage. She, I guess she doesn't feel very energetic today. Sometimes there are days where she's running around and being really crazy. Oh, Mookie's here. Hello, Mookie. Some days she's really crazy and spunky. Other days... She's very mellow and just wants to hang out in her cage. Oh, kitties. So many kitties. Little foot. Can you entertain the audience? Oh. Oh, you're so cute. Good job, little foot. Thanks for helping by being adorable. Usually, I don't do a whole lot of cat or bunny or dog videos nowadays because those don't tend to do very well on my channel, but I'm hoping to bring that back. I hope that some of you guys will be more interested in seeing Littlefoot and Mookie and Mochi the bunny, who is more interested in grooming herself. Can I pet you? She said, no, but you can give me treats. Will you love me if I give you treats? Bunny treats? Now she's interested. Uh, let me put down the camera for a second. Mushy, come here. I have a treat for you. This is so cute. 
cuteness bunny cam. So that's kind of it. I don't know. I don't really have anything awesome to show you guys today. Um, or talk about. I, I was going to do an update on my fish, but I'd rather continue after this video to work on my fish room and organize it. And then I'll do an awesome video showing you guys how I organized it and what it looks like. But so I decided I'll do like a vlog type video where I'll show you Mochi and how adorable she is and where she lives so you guys can kind of just enjoy a very simple video of my pets sometimes um, these kind of simple videos are fun I know sometimes with other youtubers do these little simple updates of their pets I actually enjoy watching them so I'm hoping that you enjoy this as well Mochi's face is so cute look at that bunny nose so adorable. So I think on that note, I am going to end the video. Nope. Oh, she's done too. And Mookie's here. So I hope that you guys like this little simple video. I know it's nothing fancy, but um, I couldn't think of anything awesomer today. Oh, oh my gosh, you're so cute. Luckily, we got to enjoy some cute bunniness. So, if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And in the comments down below, let me know if you want to see more videos of Mochi the Bunny. Even if they're very simple like this. I would like to do some educational videos very soon. So, I'll try to plan on that. So, we can learn more about bunny care. Thank you for hanging out with me and spending some time with Mochi the Bunny. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye!